Mark. Look around your classroom. What do you see? For which one? There are probably desks and chairs, calculators, pens, and maybe a chalkboard or a whiteboard. All of it is matter. And matter is just another word for the materials that are all around us. In fact, everything around you is matter, even the air you breathe. Matter can exist in three main states, solid, liquid, and gas. A solid is a substance that has a definite shape and volume. You gotta make one of the books. Solid matter retains its shape, like the chair you're sitting on right now. A liquid is a substance that has definite volume, but no definite shape. Liquid is a matter that can flow while keeping a constant volume, like milk or honey and lava. A gas is a substance without a definite volume or shape. You cannot see many gases, like the oxygen we breathe or the helium that fills up a balloon. Solids, liquids, and gases can change from one state to another. One of the best examples of matter changing states is also one of the most plentiful and important types of matter on Earth. It covers 70% of the planet, and without it, life itself would not exist. Can you guess what it is? Right, it's water. Like other kinds of matter, water can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas, depending on its temperature. When the temperature is zero degrees Celsius or below, water will be in a solid state, like ice cubes, an ice rink, or a frozen lake. The particles that make up solid matter move much more slowly than the particles in liquids and gases. Between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius, water is in a liquid state. The particles that make up water move around more than they did in the solid state, gliding past each other. Above 100 degrees Celsius, water evaporates or turns into water vapor, which is water in a gas state. The particles in water vapor are far apart and move much faster when compared to the particles in liquid water or solid water. Water is continuously changing states on Earth. The movement of water as it changes states is called the water cycle. Water vapor makes up part of the air. As water vapor rises and cools in the air outside, it changes into tiny droplets of liquid water that form clouds. Many people think that clouds are made up of gas, but in reality, clouds are droplets of liquid water that aren't heavy enough to fall. The droplets combine and grow larger and eventually fall as rain, snow, or hail. Rain is liquid water, and snow and hail are solid water. That rain, snow, or hail falls to the earth and makes its way into the lakes, rivers, and oceans. Water on Earth from the rain or snow will eventually evaporate or change back into water vapor. The water vapor will change into droplets of water and form clouds in the sky, and the water cycle will start over. Hydrologists are scientists who study water, the water cycle, and the impact water has on human life like Peter Richards at Heidelberg University. I think the thing that's most important to me in thinking about the water cycle is to try to figure out how we may be impacting different aspects of that cycle. If the air temperature changes because of climate change, we could see changes in the water cycle itself. That's because warmer temperatures cause water vapor to evaporate faster. This means it could rain more often and even affect how much water is in lakes, rivers, and oceans. So we just learned a lot about water. It can be a solid, liquid, or a gas. And the water cycle is just one real life example of how matter changes states. Remember that all matter can change states. Most matter changes states at temperatures much colder or hotter than we normally experience. For example, metal can melt from a solid to a liquid. It's how metal workers shape things like horseshoes, tools, and even jewelry. Lead melts at a smoldering 327.5 degrees Celsius. And gold? Even hotter at a whopping 1,064 degrees Celsius. Now it's your turn to observe how water changes states. Leave a cup of water out on the kitchen counter. What do you think will happen to the water over time? 
can you think of some more things that you can do that'll change the state of water? 